Hi, this is Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart Simpson. Hey, what's happening, man? <laughs> I started my career making funny sounds, like a dripping faucet from the back of the classroom. And a fake sneeze. <coughs> no kidding. Anyway, look where it took me. Who'd have thunk? <laughs> and now, it is my privilege to introduce you to Gateway Community Outreach Academy's one and only Mr. Strau and his magical podcast, you're on, dude. Thanks, Miss Cartwright. And thanks, Bart. Miss Cartwright is the voice of Bart Simpson in the Simpsons cartoon series, and you hear her voice every time Bart Simpson talks. Good morning, COA students and staff. Welcome to the final, final full, full week, week of, of school. school. Today is our very last Monday of the school year. Today is May 21st, 2018, and we're kicking off our 36th week of school, and after today, we only have eight days of school left. Yahoo! I'm Mr. Stroud with today's morning message. Nikki, someone's having a birthday. Oh, boy. That's right. We get to start off our week with some COA staff birthdays to celebrate. Yesterday, on May 20th, RSP para Miss Anna celebrated. And today, third grade teacher Mrs. Moore and Scavarla attendance clerk Miss Gladish both celebrate. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy, happy birthday to you. Uh, the countdown, countdown continues. continues. The countdown continues to our final school holiday. We now have five, five days, days to, to go, go until our final school holiday of Memorial Day on May 28th. Yep, only five days away, and we'll get our final three-day weekend of the school year. And on top of that, when we come back, we'll only have four days of school left. And all of those days are minimum days. All this week is Classified Appreciation Week. This week is your chance to say thank you to all the classified staff at COA for everything they do to make our school a fun and safe place to learn. So anytime you see a site manager, a paraeducator, playground assistant, custodian, lunch lady, or the bus driver this week. Shake their hand and say thanks. They'll really like that. This week is also Heritage Week. All this week we'll be celebrating our different heritages with activities and assemblies. The Heritage Week assemblies are this Wednesday in the GCC Theater. Your teachers will let you know what time your assembly is. It all wraps up with our annual Cultural Fair Open House this Thursday at 6 p.m. Also, don't forget that if you don't miss a single day of school all year long, you'll win that fun trip to John's Incredible Pizza from our friends at the Foothill Highlands Rotary Club and the Sacramento Republic soccer team. If you miss one day of school, you won't be able to come on the field trip. This is a special field trip for people who have 100% perfect attendance. So make sure you come to school every day and I'll take you on a fun adventure at the end of the school year. Hi, this is Emma from Miss School's class. Here's a fun history fact for today from Mr. Strau. For May 21st, on this day in 1881, the American Red Cross was formed by Clara Barton in Washington, D.C. She became the first president of the organization. The American Red Cross is a volunteer-led humanitarian organization that provides emergency assistance, disaster relief, and education inside the United States. It is the designated U.S. affiliate of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Society. Now, please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Enjoy your final Monday of the school year, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. You see... You're in a real place called the cool world. It's okay, everything's cool. You need cool air. Hey kid, want to try something really cool? Hey, if you want cool, check this out. Mr. Strauss Podcast.
Good morning. This is 4th grader Renata. It's Tuesday morning, and it's time for Mr. Stroud's morning message. So here he is, the one and only Mr. Stroud. Thanks, Renata. Good morning, COA students and staff. Today is Tuesday, May 22nd, 2018. I'm Mr. Stroud, and this is today's morning message. And Mr. Stroud, we only have seven days of school left. That's right, only seven days to go. Well, it's Tuesday again, and that means that we talk about our expected school-wide learning results that are posted in all the classrooms and all around our school. Here's fourth grader Olga to tell you all about them. Hi, I'm Olga from Mr. Bershek's class to tell you all about our school Eslers. At COA, students can create a collaborative and cooperative community. Everybody works together so everybody succeeds. They can be an outstanding learner and citizen and treat each other the way they want to be treated. And they can achieve academic excellence. The more we learn, the smarter we get. Thanks, Olga. Mr. Tony and I talked all about these at our character education assemblies all school year long. And as Mr. Tony always said, You can. You will. Succeed. Hi, this is Jeanette from the COA student leadership team. And I just want to remind everyone to keep bringing in those box tops. Box tops help us pay for our field day activities at the end of the school year as well as other fun stuff here at school. You can find them on all kinds of products that your parents brought from the store. Just cut them out, bring them to your teacher or the front desk of your site. If you turn some in, you get a lollipop too. Our final due date to redeem the box tops is this Friday, May 25th. So keep bringing in those box tops. Hi, this is Mark from Miss Paul's class. Here's a fun Disney history fact today from Mr. Chow. For May 22nd, on this day in Disney history. On this day in 1998. Disneyland officially unveils its newly renovated Tomorrowland. A vista into a world of wondrous ideas, signifying man's achievement, a step into the future with predictions of constructive things to come. New additions include rocket rods, a high-speed attraction running on the former People Mover track, Red Rocket's Pizza Port, a restaurant located in the former Mission to Mars attraction, NASA Space Experience, and the attraction Honey, I Shrunk the Audience, a 4D movie experience. Also reopening is the Astro Orbiter attraction, originally known as the Astro Jets. It has been relocated to the entrance of Tomorrowland and placed on ground level, thus making the ride the new focal point as guests step from the main plaza of Disneyland into Tomorrowland. Now, here's third grader Anita to lead you in the pledge this morning. Hi, I'm Anita from Miss Satchuk's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Have a terrific Tuesday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. This is 5th grader Maria. That was Mr. Shout's morning message for today. Tune in tomorrow for more fun and useful information. Good morning. This is 5th grader Nikita K. Welcome to Wednesday morning. It's now time for Mr. Stroud's morning message. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Stroud. Thanks, Nikita. Aloha, COA students and staff. Today is Wednesday, May 23rd, 2018, and this is your final full day of school. All the rest of the school days this year are minimum days. Wow, neat. I'm Mr. Strau with today's morning message. And Mr. Strau, we only have six days of school left. That's right, only six days left of school. Today, we continue our Heritage Week celebration with our Heritage Week assemblies in the GCC Theater. Your teachers will let you know what time your assembly is. 
Don't forget, all this week is Classified Appreciation Week. This week is your chance to say thank you to all of our classified staff at COA for everything they do to make our school a fun and safe place to learn. So anytime you see a site manager, paraeducator, playground assistant, custodian, lunch server, or bus driver this week, shake their hand and say thank you. They'll really enjoy that. Tomorrow is our annual cultural fair open house starting at 6 p.m. We'll have fun activities, food samples, and, of course, our talent show. It's a fun celebration, and everyone is welcome to come. So come on out and enjoy our cultural fair open house tomorrow at 6 p.m. And due to that activity tomorrow night, there will be no after-school program tomorrow. And tomorrow is a minimum day. School will get out at 12.35 p.m. tomorrow for everyone. Hi, this is Giselle from Miss Myers' class, here to remind you about this month's character trait, a personal best. All year long, we've been building a pyramid of success with all of our character traits. Now is the time that we think about all of them and show your personal best. Personal best is not about being perfect. It's not about being better than others. It's all about effort. And when you bring the effort every single day, that's when change occurs. Show your eagle pride and show your teachers your personal best. Just like our hero of the month, munition scientist and inventor Alfred Nobel. His ability to show his personal best in his research and inventions led him to create the Nobel Prize that recognizes and awards others for their scientific, economic, literary, and political achievements all around the world. So show your teachers your personal best all month long, and maybe you will be chosen as the final student of the month for this school year. Hi, this is Sasha from the student leadership team. Are you still the one who completes older homework, doesn't miss a single assignment? We still have a prize for you at the end of the trimester. If you don't miss one assignment during the second trimester, you'll get to watch a movie on our new giant screen in the GCC theater during a school day. But if you miss one assignment or one assignment is late, you'll lose that chance to attend the movie. Good luck, everyone. Don't forget to tune into our school and family radio show, hosted by Mr. Ivan, every Thursday from 8 o'clock in the morning until 8.30 in the morning on 87.7 FM to find out more about what's going on at our school. Now, please join our PE para, Mr. Daniel, in the pledge this morning. Hello, this is Mr. Daniel, your PE teacher. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. This is 5th grader Sasha. That was Mr. Stroud's morning message for today. Tune in tomorrow for more fun and useful information. Good morning. This is fourth grader Estelle. Well, it's Thursday morning and it's time for some fun and useful information with Mr. Strout's morning message. Take it away, Mr. Strout. Thanks, Estella. Hello, COA students and staff. It's another great day right here at COA. And we're so excited to see your smiling faces on this Thursday, May 24th, 2018. I'm Mr. Stroud with your morning message. And Mr. Stroud, we only have five days of school left. Wow, only five days of school left. Mickey, someone's having a birthday. Oh, boy. Yep, we get to celebrate another COA staff birthday this week. Today, second grade teacher Mr. Avalos celebrates. Happy birthday, Mr. Avalos. Happy, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Tonight is our annual cultural fair open house. Come on out and enjoy some fun, games, a talent show, and even some food samples. All the fun starts at 6 p.m. Bring your whole family and come and enjoy our cultural fair open house. And since that activity is going on tonight, there will be no after-school program today. Coming up next week are our Trimester 3 Awards Assemblies and our Kindergarten and 6th Grade Promotion Ceremonies. We'll be giving away perfect attendance, most improved, honor roll, principal's list, 
And this trimester, the Superintendent's Award for students who won the principal's list all three trimesters. Hey, students, tell your parents that they can follow COA on Facebook. All they need to search for is Community Outreach Academy. They can even download our new smartphone app, which has all our calendars, class schedules, upcoming events, and even pictures. It's available on Android and iPhone. Tell your parents to search their app store for Community Outreach Academy. Hi, this is Sony from the COA Leadership Team. Just as a reminder, Mr. Romero's fifth grade class wants to empty plastic water bottles and lumen cans. They need them for an experiment they're conducting on campus. For the rest of the school year, you'll find specially marked recycling containers next to our garbage cans outside on our campus. Soon you'll also notice there will be specially marked bins as you enter inside of each building at our school too. Put only your empty plastic bottles and lumen cans in those marked recycling bins to allow their class to do their project. And of course, to help keep our campus looking clean and nice. Thanks, everyone. Now, please join second grader Ilona in the plunge this morning. Hi, my name is Ilona from Miss Kozel's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a thoughtful Thursday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. This is second grader Yana. That was Mr. Straw's morning message for today. Tune in tomorrow for more fun and useful information. Good morning. This is what's greater faith. Woohoo! It's Friday morning and it's time for Mr. Straw's morning message. Let's get this party started. It's all yours, Mr. Straw. Thanks, Faith. Greeting COA students and staff. Hey, check this out. We made it through another week of school to our minimum day Friday again. Yahoo! Today is Friday, May 25th, 2018. I'm Mr. Strau, and this is today's morning message. And Mr. Strau, we only have four days of school left. Four days left. Can you believe it? Wow. We can do it. All this week, we celebrated Classified Appreciation Week. Were you able to say thank you to all the classified staff at COA for everything they do to make our school a fun and safe place to learn? If you didn't, you still have some time to tell our site managers, paraeducators, playground assistants, custodians, food servers, and bus drivers a big thank you. And even though this Appreciation Week is coming to an end, you can always thank them any day you see them. Next week is our annual sports competition. This is the activity you've all been waiting for and have been training and working on this trimester. Who will be the fastest runner in your class? Which class will win tug of war? Well, we'll find out that and much more next week. Are you ready? Don't forget that this weekend is a three-day holiday weekend to celebrate Memorial Day. Memorial Day is officially celebrated on the last Monday during the month of May. Memorial Day is dedicated to servicemen and women who gave their lives for freedom and country. It is also a time to remember loved ones who have passed away. The roots of Memorial Day go back to 1865 and the end of the Civil War when it was traditionally held on the 30th of May. In 1971, Congress changed it to the last Monday in May in order to afford a three-day holiday weekend. Regardless of the date, you're encouraged to attend a parade or ceremony and to visit a cemetery to honor and remember our servicemen. Did you know Memorial Day was first called Decoration Day? It was changed to Memorial Day in 1882. Memorial Day also marks the beginning of the gardening and summer seasons. Even though summer will not occur for a few weeks later, it is usually marked by holding the very first family picnic of the year. Hi, this is Angelina from Miss Schneider's class. Here's a fun fact for today for Mr. Strout.
on May 25th. On this day in 1977, George Lucas changed the movie-going experience forever with his epic Star Wars. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Star Wars is an American epic space opera film series created by George Lucas. You don't need to see his identification. The first film in the series was originally released on May 25th, 1977. That is correct. Under the title Star Wars by 20th Century Fox and became a worldwide pop culture phenomenon followed by two sequels released at three-year intervals. You've taken your first step into a larger world. Sixteen years after the release of the trilogy's final film, the first in a new prequel trilogy of films was released. I was beginning to wonder if you'd got my message. The three films were also released at three-year intervals, with the final film released on May 19, 2005. You were the chosen one! It set a box office record, taking in $461 million that year. Over the span of the Star Wars series, the films have made a total to date of over $4.8 billion. Don't everybody thank me at once. Remember, the Force will be with you, always. Now, please join third grader Lena in the pledge this morning. Hi, my name is Lena from Miss Stowe's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job! Now let's sing our school song. Fantastic Friday and enjoy your final three day school holiday weekend. And we'll see you back here on Tuesday, May 29th for school week number 37, the final four days of school. This is fourth grader Vanessa. Thanks for listening to Mr. Strauss' morning message. Have a great weekend.